guys, welcome to my channel, Be Loves to Cook. Today we're going to be making stuffed bell peppers. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, you're going to be needing some bell peppers, some Kobe Jack cheese, some sharp cheddar cheese, some mushrooms, and I diced a little bell peppers here, butter, minced garlic, Worcestershire sauce, tomato paste, sugar, ketchup, onions, diced tomatoes, and hamburger meat and Italian beef meat mixed together and I have um, hot Italian sausage in this. First thing first, what we're going to do is saute some onions and bell peppers with mushrooms and what I'm going to do is add a little olive oil to my pan. I have my pan right now on um, medium heat so let's get started. So I'm going to start off by putting a probably a tablespoon of olive oil and what I do is also I mix it with two tablespoons of butter and I let that get hot. Okay guys, I'm going to add some onions. Then I'm going to add these bell peppers. These mushrooms. You know, guys, I'm going to turn this up a little bit more. Maybe I'm going to do it on a five so I can get started. Mushrooms. And then I'm going to add this minced garlic. So we're going to get this sauteed up and run it and then I'm going to transfer it to another bowl. Okay guys, this is our sauteed onions and mushrooms and peppers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this off and then I'm gonna transfer it to this bowl so that later on I'm going to add the ground beef and the meat mixture that we need to add with the sauce. Okay guys, now I am sauteing my meat. I have three meats in here. I have hot smoked sausage, hot Italian sausage, and then I have a ground chuck. Okay, you guys, you guys can use any type of meat that you want. Maybe you want to use chicken, ground chicken, ground turkey, um, Venice, whatever meat that you want to use, you can cho choose to use. Okay, guys, now that my meat is browning, I think I got it to browning. I'm going to add my seasonings. I'm going to add a little paprika, seasoning salt. Not a lot because it's going to be salty anyway. Little pepper, of course, ground red pepper, cayenne pepper, onion powder, Italian seasoning, and some garlic powder. I'm going to mix that all up and then what I'm going to do is add all this other stuff. Also too guys, I forgot to let you know that I'm also going to add Spanish rice to this mixture. Um, you can add white rice, brown rice or whatever rice you want to add to this but for me I just chose to add Spanish rice. Um, it's going to be mixed up with um, the meat stuffed into the bell pepper. So I got the water on with a tablespoon of oil. And once that starts to boil, I'm going to add the Spanish rice um, in it. So right now, I'm going to add my ketchup. 
to this mixture. So I'm gonna add the ketchup. Then I'm gonna add some tomato sauce to this. You guys can pick whatever tomato sauce you want, the mushroom, tomatoes with mushrooms, tomato with meat, whatever you cho choose. Um, I'm going to add some tomato paste. I'm going to add my... Uh, cho I chopped up two tomatoes and then I also had a can of stewed tomatoes that I had with this. So I'm just going to put this mixture in. I'm going to add the Worcester sauce right here. And you guys, everything that the ingredients and all the measurements will be in the description box. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of white sugar. So I'm going to give this all a mix. And then I'll let you know how it turned out. I'll be back. Okay, you guys. I just put the rice into the pot right now. Right now it's trying to simmer. And now, you see this big pan right here? I have a whole bunch of water in here. Because what I want to do is I want to take my bell peppers and I'm going to put them in the water for a light, like probably three minutes or three to five minutes depending on how tender you want it but it's going to cook some more once you put it in the oven so before I stuff my bell peppers I'm going to put them in a big pan of boiling water hot water and then I'm going to take them out and then we will begin to stuff okay guys what I'm going to do is show you how to take the Italian sausage out the casing I forgot to give you a demonstration of that so what I do is cut this like that and then I just take the skin off of the casing like this pull back and then I'll throw this away disregard that and then I will take this and just add it to the meat and then you just add it to your meat mixture and then you cook it through okay guys now I'm going to show you how to cut properly cut your bell peppers it doesn't matter if it has a different kind of odd shape you still can make your pepper stand up so this one is like the red pepper and what I do is I first cut the bottoms like this cut that bottom off and what I do to this piece like this I usually add it to chop it up and make it a bell make my bell peppers and chop them up and put them and saute them so what I do is do that so it can stand up then I'm going to cut this off which is the front part actually I'm going to cut some more part off of this uh, bottom like somewhere like that so then it can stand up Ooh. there you go now it's standing up so now I cut this off and so I'm going to take my knife and go around like this to make sure I get all the seeds out and everything needed should just pop on out so, and then I clean all this other stuff out. Clean it out. The stuff that's not needed. So you'll be able to stuff that bell pepper with no problem. And I just knock those seeds out. there you have it okay guys now that I have my meat still simmering I'm going to add these bell peppers to the boiling hot water that I had over here so that they can just for three to five minutes okay now you guys I'm done with the meat um, mixing up the meat and letting it simmer for a while and what I did is there's too much when it's too much juices and everything what I do is drain all of the juices and let it sit like this and let it drain all of the oils and different things like that before I add it to 
the rice and mix it up. So what I'm going to do is transfer it to this, this bowl to what I have the saute uh, veggies, uh, veggies in. And then I'm going to add the rice. I'm going to mix it all up and then we'll be ready to stuff our bell peppers. Okay guys. Now that we have the bell pepper, it's been in the um, water for a minute. We boiled it, so now it's more softer and ready um, to go into the oven. So now I'm going to stuff the bell pepper. This is my mixture. Of course, I have a lot more mixture because I'm going to freeze a lot of this. That's what I do. I do a lot of freezing of my food. And um, then I can reuse this stuffing for later to make more stuffed bell peppers. So now what I do is I take some... Kobe Jack cheese, a little of that, put it at the bottom. Then I take some sharp cheddar cheese and I put it in the bottom. And then I'll take my scooper and I'll add some meat, just probably two scoops, that'll do. And then I'll go in again with some more. Kobe Jack cheese and then some um, sharp cheddar. You can use any kind of cheese that you want. This is just a cheese that I chose. It really doesn't matter. Um, and then I'll go back in with two scoops. So then it's nice and stuffed. And then I'll add it to the, the other peppers. Okay guys, now that you got your peppers all stuffed and ready to go, what I'm going to do, I preheated my oven to 350. It's on 350 now and think I'm going to put these bell peppers in for roughly a half hour. But before I uh, take them out in that half hour, I'm going to put add cheese on them for the last maybe five minutes. So I will say 25 minutes, I'm going to check on them, put a little cheese on top of them and then we're going to take them out. Um, yeah, so I'll see you when they get done. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I just took them out the um, oven, and now I'm adding cheese to them. For this last five minutes, I'm going to let the cheese melt on top of this, and then we'll be ready to eat. Okay, guys, I'm putting it back in the oven, and we are going to put this in the oven for probably three to five minutes until the cheese is melted. Okay, you guys. You see, they're ready. So there you have it. That's your stuffed bell peppers. Now what I'm going to do is add a little regular Italian seasoning on but Just for decoration purposes. But what I did, you guys, at the end, I added some mozzarella cheese from the my, um, it wasn't fresh mozzarella cheese, but it was from my um, refrigerator, so I added it. So there you have it. Voila! Stuffed bell peppers. They are yummy. Okay, guys, so right now I'm going to taste this, and I'm going to cut this open to see what we working with. You see it cut it cut right open. Some people like theirs more firm, but this is good for me. So you should see cheese throughout. As you can see, that's cheese throughout that. So I'm going to go in. Make it a little bit smaller. Go in and taste it. Hopefully it's not too hot. Let it cool off. That's good. Very good. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope that you will make some stuffed bell peppers. I will be here next week. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Peace.